In this particular tutorial, we will learn how to perform an incomplete recovery of an Oracle database when you have missing archive blocks. The error that you get is file one needs media recovery. The file one is nothing but your system data file which needs more recovery. I would like to highlight that this solution is not limited to only system data file. This solution will work for any data file. Now, what is the error? So when you try to start the database, you might encounter the error file one needs media recovery and it will give you the name of the file. In this case, it is a system data file. It might be, as I mentioned, it can be any data file. The database will be stuck in the mount mode and you will not be able to get it into the open mode unless you don't fix this error. Now, since you have missing archive logs, you will not be able to do the complete recovery. You'll have to go for incomplete recovery and you will say restore database until sequence. This number you will change as per your environment. Then you will say recover database until sequence and then you will open the database, alter database open reset logs because we have done the incomplete recovery. From where to get this number, the sequence number that I've used, you can use the v, v dollar archive log. So query V dollar archive log and you'll get select name sequence number from V dollar archive logs. You will get the, the sequence number that you can use here to recover your database, to perform your database incomplete recovery. Now you might want to recreate this scenario and I would like to explain how you can test this in your home lab. So open the database. Note the name of your system data file, perform some transactions, copy system data file. I'm going to copy the system data file while the database is open. I'm not going to shut down the database. Perform some more transactions, shut down the database, replace the system data file with the copied. So we copied that data file. So we are going to bring, take the system data file back in time because we have we have done some transactions and we copied the system data file before. So we are going to copy it with the previous copied system data file, delete some latest archive logs. So we are going to also delete some archive logs. Try to open the database. Your database is crashed. You will not be able to open the database. Try to recover the database, complete, do the full recovery. You will not be able to do the full recovery because you have deleted the archive logs. So we will see this scenario. We will create this scenario. We will see this scenario and we will try to recover from this scenario in this particular exercise. So let's begin. So let's connect to our database. Let's see if our database is, let's first set the environmental variable. Let's see if our database is started. If it is not, we'll start it up. It is started. Let's check which mode the database is into. So it is in the read write mode, that is good. Let's keep a note of our system data file. So let's keep a note of our system data file. This is, it is here. So let's keep a note of that. We are going to copy this system data file to some other location. So we need that. Open another transaction session. Let the database be open. Perform some transactions. I'm going to perform some transactions. It can be anything, maybe a create table, insert some few records, whatever you want to do. Just let some transactions happen. Wait for the transactions to complete. It will not take much time. So let's, uh, let's, and that's done. The script has completed. What we are going to do now is we are, the database is still open. So what we are going to do now, we are going to copy this system data file to some other location. So before that, let's create a directory, temp directory. You can copy wherever you want. Once we have created the temp directory, the system data file, we are going to copy system data file. We are going to copy to that new directory that we created. That's done. What we are going to do now is we are going to perform some more transactions. So let's perform some more transactions after we have copied the data file. So let's let it run for maybe one or two times. It will complete in few seconds. So let's wait. So that's done. Now what we are going to do, we are going to shut down the database. And once the database is shut down, we are going to just wait for it for it to get into the. Yeah, so that looks good. I'm, I'm not going to I'm not going to wait for complete instance. So I'm going to now remove the system data file 
and I'm, what I'm going to do, I've removed the original. I'm going to copy the temp one. So we are going to bring back and then what I'm going to do. So now if I exit, if I clear and if I say SQL plus SSDBA, try to start the database, we will see we will see that our database will say file one needs media recovery and we will not be able to open the database. So if I say alter database open, we will still get the same error file one needs media recovery. Unless we don't resolve this error, we will not be able to open the database. Our database is stuck in the mod mode. I can show it to you. Our database is in the mod mode. Now what we can do is, as I told you, we have missing archive logs. So we will have missing archive logs. So what we can do is like we can query the before trying to recover. I'm going to delete some archive logs so I can run this query and it does, this doesn't look good. So I'll do one thing. I'll connect to this database using the SQL developer. Since the database is in the mount, mounted mode, we should be able to connect to it. And you can see what I'm going to do now. I'm going to delete this to 49 and 50. I'm going to delete these two archive logs. So the sequence number 49 and 50, I'm going to delete them. So let's say RM. That's done. 49. I've deleted the 49. And I'm also I'm going to delete the 50. So I'm going to delete this too. And that's done. Now what we are going to do, we are going to connect. Let's our database is, as you can see, our database is now in the mount mode. Let's verify. And the sequence number is 40. We have deleted 49 and 50. So we can go back only up to 50. 48 so let me open one more worksheet and our database is in the mount mode we will and if i try to alter database open we will not be able to get this database into you can see we need to we need the media recovery to happen so we will not be able to open the database now let's connect to the database will i'll open one more session and what I'll do here, I'll say host clear and <clears throat> I'll run the same query here and our database is in the mount mode. So now what I'll do, let me connect rman target. Let me say recover database. And we will not be able to recover our database because it is looking for these two archive logs, 49 and 50, 49 and 50, and we have deleted them. They are no longer there on the system. So we will not be able to recover our database to 14, two, we will not be able to recover our full database. So the recovery is failing. So we cannot open the database. So now what we'll do now is we will perform the incomplete recovery. And to do that, what we will be saying is we will be going back to 48. So let's go here and run these two commands. So now we will change this to 48. We'll change this to 48. So we will say restore database until sequence in the rman prompt. In the rman prompt, we are going to restore the database until sequence 48. So wait for the restore. And then we are going to say restore recover database until sequence 48 in the um, rman prompt and then what are in the rman prompt or in the sql plus you can do wherever you want doesn't matter you can run this command wherever so i'm going to say alter database open reset logs and then if i run this command you can see that we are able to open the database successfully in the read write mode now remember one thing is we have done the incomplete recovery. So make sure to take a full backup of your database to prevent any more because we have gone back into time. So please make sure to take your full database backup. I hope this particular database, sorry, I hope this particular tutorial was useful. In this particular tutorial, we learned how to perform an incomplete recovery. We deleted, we had some missing archive logs. So we went back to the point in time we went back to the point in time. We went to the old sequence number because we don't have these two archive logs. This recovery failed and we went back to the 48 and then we were able to open our database successfully. 
आई होप दिस टूटोरियल इज यूजफुल थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग सी यू इन नेक्स्ट टूटोरियल टिल देन हैव फन एंजॉय एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल बाय बाय